Now, I want us to touch on something um, that is just about to come to the courts. And I saw a letter from Jindo Matiba Lofam uh, talking about how uh, things happened on Saturday because uh, Thursday, Senator Manzo and company, uh, by majority, voted to impeach uh, Rigathi Gashagwa. Uh, Friday, communication was received by the National Assembly, and they voted on the name of Professor Kindiki to become deputy president-elect, um, words of um, Speaker Wetangula. And then after that, there was that court order by Chacha Muita. Later in the afternoon, there was another court order from Kerugoya uh, talking about uh, referral of that matter to the Chief Justice for impanelment. There are now questions being asked as to whether really the Chief Justice uh, made direction on what sh should happen to those files. How important is that communication? You know, you know what happens when um, a constitutional matter is brought to court. First, it comes before a single judge, mm -hmm. a constitutional judge division, you know, in the division of the constitutional courts. And then uh, the, the judge weighs the weight of the matter. And if it is uh, very heavy and of big public interest, then th that particular judge, the way Judge Muita did, refers it to the Chief Justice for, to, to, to make a three-bench judge, you know, to, 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 to hear the matter, mm -hmm. because the matters are weighty, and this is a constitutional court. And the moment uh, that is determined, then it further goes to another constitutional court in the Court of Appeal. And if one of the parties is not satisfied with the constitutional matters coming, then it goes to the Supreme Court. And therefore, sometimes it may, part of the Supreme Court may sit, or full Supreme Court may sit, depending on the weight of the matter. The, mm -hmm. the, the matter of the deputy president impeachment is very weighty. And uh, that's why there were interim orders by Judge Muita. Mm -hmm. Now, what will happen first and foremost, all the files across the country right. will be consolidated. I'm aware further filings are being done this morning by different organizations like Kitwa Chasharia, people interested with the justice in the country. Mm. Uh, and uh, even individual. individuals will also, you know, file their cases. Nowadays, they are filed online. So when the, 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 the bench sits at 11, this particular bench, which sat on Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, I am doubtful. It was already existing daily with other constitutional matters. And uh, if the Chief Justice said uh, the communication from Justice Muita was not expected to be constituted and then sit on Saturday mm. without the, the movers, it is now the Attorney General who appeared before another bench of three and applied to set aside, you know, the, whatever Judge Muita did, uh, which should have gone to the appeal. It is the Court of Appeal which should have been constituted to deal with Judge Muita's orders. You have a record of that? That is the Attorney General that moved the three judgments? Yes, 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 that's the information I got that. And then the Attorney General was told to serve, mm -hmm. uh, and then the parties appear today at 11. Okay. So, so, so you, 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 you know the communication of Chief Justice is mandatory. So you're saying that here you cannot challenge a position of Justice Church and of the High Court and the judge in Kerugoya, Richard Mwongo, of the High Court. You cannot challenge it at the three-judge bench. At the Constitutional Court dealing with something else. If it is a High Court Constitutional Court, then automatically should have gone to the Court of Appeal. If you are appealing against the decision of Church Amuita. But, but, but if the matter is referred by the Chief Justice to the three-judge bench, as mentioned begins, can they vary those orders? If the Chief Justice referred, uh, set up a bench of three on the Church Amuita matter, uh -huh. then the Chief Justice should have communicated to Paul Moite. Mm -hmm. that I have set a bench and it's sitting on Saturday, so please come. That communication never came to Paul Muite or any of the lawyers who are working with Paul Muite. And therefore, it means uh, uh, the, the, the move by the Attorney General okay. went to another bench, not the bench the Chief Justice is supposed to constitute. In fact, up to now, we have not received communication of the Chief Justice um, making a badge on the Chacha Muita matter.
because that was a request of Chacha Mwita as a judge mm. to, 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 to the chief to, justice. Yeah, to the chief justice to communicate. That communication should also go to the lawyers representing. So you have not seen the communication, but that we haven't it, seen. Is it. there indication that she didn't communicate? After now, that's why there was a letter from um, one of the advocates uh, uh, working with Paul Muite yep. asking the chief justice what were the happenings of Saturday because we as parties are not aware and the, the, the Attorney General approached yep. the three judges, uh, you, know, you know, ex parte without inviting the other parties. So the three judges were very... I mean, how do you approach a three-judge bench? I thought you'd need to make an application before them. Yes. And before a single judge, first of all. She also needed to appear. But, you know, there's setting up of a three-judge uh, bench, which I think was existing for something else. I doubt whether it's, it's the one for Paul Muito, because then Paul Muito would have been communicated to and would have appeared on Saturday. But Paul Muito did not appear on Saturday. And coincidentally, the judiciary does not appear at the celebrations, as ordinarily uh, is. Let me ask you, uh, <laughs> because it's a the practice. Because there are two lawyers, I just want to find out, um, yeah. just like a layman, my question will be, where is prejudice here? Is it on the side of the deputy president-elect or the former deputy president-elect in, in this matter? Number two, you have this three-judge uh, bench that was constituted by the chief justice. Was it not meant to consolidate all the other petitions in regard to this impeachment process, or was it specific? And again, if an order was to come, who will you refer it to? Will you now refer that matter to the three judges, or you can expressly go to the uh, Court of Appeal? If the three judges bench said persuade to Judge Muita's orders mm -hmm. and petition before him, then that communication should have come back to the lawyers that we have already done a three judge bench overnight mm -hmm. and it is sitting on Saturday. But no, that one was formed way back, uh, Moshima Manzo. That, the one that is being chaired by Honorable uh, Justice Ogola. Yes. Even if it was formed way back, how did then the Hatton General appear before it, now representing the deputy president elect Paranabe. and seeking an order to have him to, to, to vacate the orders of Justice Muita and then swear him? I Paranabe. think, um, Sorry. Uh, let me just um, mm -hmm. uh, agree to an extent with my colleague here, the senator. The issue is that there has been suspicious activity over. Um, this matter regarding the impeachment of the deputy president and the conduct of um, the three judge bench in regards to how they sat on a weekend when they would require express permission from the chief justice of the Republic of Kenya to sit on such mm -hmm. a day. That communication, some, it is general practice that it would be shared, we call it full disclosure, it would be shared to the councils representing the deputy president. Okay. It is expected. It was not shared. So, of course, the conclusion you draw is that they sat without it. We call it prima facie evidence. Because that letter, in the event that it is not presented when it should have been presented or served upon the lawyers representing the deputy president, then the absence of it indicates that the matter is being conducted in a very cantankerous uh, manner. Some, there's also the issue of the file being referred. It has to be referred to the bench. The Chief Justice had two options, mm -hmm. to form a bench, like my senior has said, to hear that matter, or to refer it to the existing bench. Now, there is no indication or evidence or communication or service whatsoever to the councils representing the deputy president that the chief justice constituted a bench right. to listen or rather adjudicate upon that matter. There is also no evidence or indication whatsoever that the chief justice opted to refer the file to the existing bench. So, so in the lack can of the it, bench move on its own motion? It cannot move to a motto, Sam. Because, and then it cannot move to a motto even 
more was on a weekend, a sasa, Saturday. Sasa, Suomoto, you want to light a fire here? <laughs> no, 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 no. On its own motion. So what? A, on, its own motion. on its own so motion. So it has to be prompted. <clears throat> so what I mean is, these are the allegations that have been raised by council that one, we did not see any communication from the CJ. It would have been served upon us if it is okay. existing. Mm. Then you would draw the conclusion that of course there has been undue influence from other arms of government. I, I think what is happening, Sam, is that yeah. uh, the lawyers of the deputy president um, seem not to have faith in any institution that is handling this matter. You know, you are referring I'll tell you, to both I'll, of us. I'll here. tell you, but I'll That's give you a question. chance, because in my view, that is what they are saying. Mm -hmm. Look at that uh, this way. For public participation, my colleague here, Honorable uh, Gashiri, went to court in Kerugoya, and she successfully uh, petitioned the court to issue an order. Which were disobeyed. Which we obeyed. No, they were Let not just obeyed. Finish. Which we obeyed in 290 uh, constituencies. That's why, I mean, that is exactly why you are saying. In Mutusa's constituency, the CDF offices were closed. That is wrong because there was... there was And uh, several other offices, where, by the way, where, evidence. Where there was activity of, of, of possible violence. Yeah. And, and our parliamentary staff were there. And we've, we, you know, we, we talked about it. We, uh, Honorable uh, Njeri petitioned the court and she was very successful and the 290 constituency, we respect parliament, uh, uh, parliament of Kenya did respect that order from the court. Mm -hmm. We have continuously respected, even on particular, this particular one, on um, injecting the swearing in of the new deputy president, we have followed suit. But for them, every move that is done counter from our side, they view it very suspiciously. I do not understand why so. It just tells you that it is the same same people who do not respect institutions. And but, I can but, tell but, you but, this for sure. But, but, so Whatever sorry. the outcome, they yeah. will not respect that outcome. They will condemn it. Just a little horrible injury. But does it bother you that um, there's no written communication? Because when the three judge bench of Justice Eric Ogola, Justice Frida, Dr. Frida Mugambi, and who's the other judge? Um, there are three of them. I'll get the and name Ogola. for it. Eric Ogola, Frida Mogambi, and Murima. Murima. Yeah. Murima. When it was empaneled, yeah. there was communication from the Chief Justice. Yes. When the matters were referred to it, there was communication. But in the case of Chacha Muita uh, sitting in Milimani and uh, Richard Mongo sitting in Kirugoya, there's no communication from the Chief Justice assigning those matters to the three judges. Does it bother you? I mean, we, the court is uh, yet to resume. Um, and uh, when none of us is acting on behalf of you know they sat some. Any team here, so uh, the which court, will be. The, the you already sat. So I want to clarify no, 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 something. Mm. I'm not saying this will be a, a statement of fact. We are hearing from the lawyers representing Deputy President saying that um, those matters were not referred by the Chief Justice to that bench. Up to that extent, would it bother you if that were to be true? It will bother me, but it's up to the Chief Justice to say if uh, truly she did not or she did. In my view, she did, and that is why this bench is sitting this In your view, she did, based on what strength? That's why this bench is sitting this morning. OK. Because if then, why will the deputy president uh, uh, advocates appear today in court? On what basis? Well, well, there, has there was been, no communication. Well, there, there has now been an order mm -hmm. that uh, whatever request was be made on Saturday, yeah. Uh, ex parte without the other parties, without mm -hmm. the deputy president's lawyers mm -hmm. or himself, then uh, they were told to serve first and then appear today so that responses yes. uh, can be given. But you see, when the, when the Attorney General went to court on Saturday, he wanted an order to be allowed to swear to dig without... That the is input the input of, 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 of the deputy. And I also want to but clarify. It's within the right of the yeah. Attorney General's office to make uh, such a To do so. Is it? And it's also within the right of the three judges. I really want to thank them. Yes. Yeah. To, to, to refuse. Yes. Which they refuse to hear her without the other parties. Okay. Otherwise, you would have been given the orders, and by now, Kidiki would be the deputy president, and uh, uh, all the other applications would have been overtaken by then. So I think. The courts have become um, our last line of defense, and they have done very well. Absolutely. I want to say also, out of experience, because I've been, I'm now in the senior bar, that uh, 20 years ago or so, we appeared before a judge on a Saturday mm -hmm. in a, with Dr. Amino in a matter touching uh, uh, Mututo, a former member of parliament for Naivasha, of some uh, you know, human rights issue and the police. 
uh, had been, uh, you know, there was an order against the police to release him. And after, in fact, as soon as the police, uh, uh, you know, realized there was an order, they disappeared so that they could not be served because the moment they are served, <laughs> then there is contempt of court. Okay. Uh, but as we, we went up on a weekend through the ranks, eventually Mututa was released. So it's, it's not strange that courts sit on Saturday. On a very ancient matter, courts can be moved on Saturday. Mm. Uh, and uh, the duty judge then allowed us to, to his house. And that's where he quickly set up a chamber. In fact, I remember I had to lend my tie to Dr. Aminwa to appear before. Oh, you have before to the be in a tie. Uh, yeah, you have, it's a court. In his house. Okay. In his house. <laughs> so he constituted a court in his house on Saturday. And yeah. orders were issued and processed. Of course, it has challenges. When you have that order of the court and you don't have uh, the secretariat yeah. of the high court in place, you know, if, if the three judges are sitting, the, if they issue an order, it must be implemented. So you have to call back ev so, everybody. So, you have so, to call back everybody to work so on Saturday. So you're saying the court is where the judges. <laughs> yes, the court is where the judges. Okay. I, 